<laughs> Welcome back to BYU Sports Nation. We are live in Studio B. Hey, what a great highlight to welcome in our next guest, the Heisman Trophy winner, oh. Ty Detmoran, one of his favorite prime targets, tight end Chris Smith. That's no, two time. Two time Chris Smith, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be the Chris Smith uh, show today. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, yes. It's always about me. We know that. <laughs> Chris, we just saw some great highlights. You, you run away from Utah's defense. One that one made the top 100 plays in BYU history, by the way, a couple did, of years ago. I, that was I, awesome. I did notice that, and my kids mock me about that all the time. Wait, why, 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 why do they mock me? Because I'm number one. Because it should be number one, but I'm not. Uh, it should, uh, it should uh, be more. Yeah, it, it, Hail Mary and 80? I'm just saying, my, my, it's my kids, it's not me. Yeah, okay. So okay. my kids are saying, oh, it should be number one, Dad. You're just Re-edit it in the Chris Smith top 100 <laughs> in your house. Oh, yeah, yes. in my world, it is number Absolutely. one. Absolutely. The Chris <laughs> Smith number one. Ty, when you watch highlights like that, like, I mean, how often, by the way, do you, or do you encounter highlights like that? Uh, every now and then, I mean, just something pop up on BYU TV usually. I mean, they're not national media or anything, but um, they pop up every now and then. It's kind of fun to watch, and old games, you know, pop up, and, uh, you know, things things show up that you're like, oh, I didn't realize I did that. You know, that, that wasn't too good. <laughs> right, quarterbacks don't watch that. <laughs> as I say, not as I did. Right. Uh, John Beck was just talking to us about the 06 play, his throwback to Harlan. He's like, I remember how I saw it through my helmet. Are, is it similar for you in big plays in your history, like where you remember the perspective through your helmet? Yeah, because that's that's how you lived it, right? And then you see the highlight, and and so now you know it's been so long now. It's some of the highlights you know stick out from the TV version, but for sure. a lot of times it's you know seeing Chris and oh, there's a you know open down the middle, and uh, but it's now it's getting to be more the yeah. TV highlight. Were you guys bored during the Utah game when you were up 49 to nothing? <laughs> Did, were you bored, Chris? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I, I felt bad about that game. So Scott Mitchell was injured. Uh, the, the, the defensive scheme was just awful. I really don't know what they were thinking about the defensive scheme. Seven, seven possessions, seven touchdowns. They were just, we, we were just walking through them like water. It was just bad. But also, going back in that time frame, the Utes, they weren't that great of a program. I mean, if you remember the What Happening coupons, in the back of the page, they used to have buy two, get two free Utah Ute game tickets. No, that's, that's where they were at the time. Now, Coach Witt, most respect for that man, has built a great program. But yes, during that time, I think we were a little bored. <laughs> I actually went to, the, I had to go to the bathroom. And, like, <laughs> and I'm like, Coach, I went to Lavelle. Hey, are you good if I go to the locker room and go to the restroom? So I run up there, the locker room's locked during the game, obviously, so people aren't in and out. So I had to go to the public restroom <laughs> in my uniform, and I'm standing there, and everybody's like, hey, good job, Mike. Like, yeah, so, but it was, that was an ugly game. I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't. They were down. Scott was hurt. I told him, you know, he owed us probably another couple hundred yards of passing and receiving. So we get a laugh out of it. But uh, What quarter was that when you went to the bathroom? I think it was. Early in the fourth, it, so. when it was, we yeah. we were out after the first series of the third. I think all the starters were, yeah. were out, and and yeah. uh, so we didn't play the whole second half basically. <laughs> just chilling. <laughs> Can you imagine this year? Just Keaton Slovis. Oh, hey, what's up? What are you doing here? <laughs> yeah. 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 That's great stuff. Yeah. Alumni Day has has grown. We, we've enjoyed talking to uh, a bunch of former players about the growth that the this day has you know undertaken. But what what do you feel when you come back and, and you get together with all of the BYU uh, football alumni? What's this like for you, Ty? It's great, um, you know, to see former teammates, to be able to see guys that, you know, as we left, we watched, and I think we're the two oldest guys here uh, to play in the game. Um, but it, it's always fun to interact and and even meet some of the guys for the first time, but knowing that you've seen them play. And, mm. and uh, then there's, uh, you know, the younger group that that have gone on and and uh, seeing them is a lot of fun and uh, but more importantly I think seeing the guys you played with and and uh, haven't seen maybe in a, in a few years so it's great that they have us back and, and have this opportunity it was so fun last year can't wait for it uh, tonight at 7 Eastern on BYU TV Chris what's the plan for you uh, we're gonna we're gonna get a touchdown early with like what, what's what's the situation here with Tom? Uh, let's see so I, I have my, 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 my weighted vest on, just to make things fair, <laughs> just to make things fair, you know. Uh, I, 
I have two knee repairs. I do. I, I definitely have Johnson Johnson on, on uh, working with me today. So I think <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think maybe five to seven yards is the most I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, maybe ten. The the, the 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 days of six nine H option. No, that's not going to happen. It's just not going to be there. But there's other guys. And I think that's the, the strength of what BYU has to bring is that when Ty and I played in the last century, which is really that long ago, I mean, we, we had a good team. We, we had a, a great traditions. We had just a, wonderful things going on. But since then, other great players have stepped up. Other great players have come in and said, okay, I can take what, what Ty built. Well, let's get real. No, no, no one played better than, than Ty. So the golden child here. He, he, he is still up on the pedestal, uh, so the go yeah here we go. So, so 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 Mr. Provo, golden child here. No, no one's played better than he has, but uh, you've had great tight ends come in past me. You've got great receivers, great running backs, great quarterbacks from Zach Wilson on down. You know the program moves on. So no 18-yard outs where Ty takes a shot from a Miami defensive end in the chin and has like 15 stitches. You make a great catch. None of none of those routes. Both tonight. shoulders no, because, will be cause, intact. Because that wasn't yeah. an 18-yard out. That was actually a, a 65 sail route. Okay. So I, I, I come and stem a little bit in here. If I'm gonna find that, I love. You remember Lance Reynolds? That you always have just kind of, kind of just, just, just do that. <laughs> just and I go. What do you mean? Because I'm a freshman at that time. I was like, you know, when, when, when I'm learning this offense, he goes, well, you just have to kind of feel where the open slot is. <laughs> <laughs> and so that was the route. It was it was 65 uh, uh, sail. 65 wide get open. Basically. Yeah, basically. Well, that was actually. <laughs> I, know, I know. <laughs> So that was actually 69 H option. 69 H option actually turned into 69. I'm going to throw it to Chris. That's really what that came about. <laughs> and if you, if you remember the uh, what was it? It was a, it was a UCCU. Uh, a poster that they did. Oh yeah. The little card, the little training card. If you look at that catch, um, it's it's a it's it's me making this incredible catch because Ty threw it high and behind me, <laughs> which allowed Air Force to give me a kidney shot. I do appreciate that. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to give you one today. I think. <laughs> yeah. No, but no. But so, am I going to run a 65 sale? No. No. Well, just okay. just. Just, just feel no, it, no, feel no, it no, out. Just no, but so that, that's what's going to be. Yeah. It's going to be, I'm going to take a step, and I'm going to feel the, the open, soft spot of the zone, which is usually about two or three yards past the line of scrimmage. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be very soft. It might be second and 13, so <laughs> let's be honest. How we lose three yards on that pass? <laughs> You've been training with Max. He just told us all about it. He pumped you up. He said I, you're How are you feeling about this? Yeah, I mean, I had to throw a little bit just to see how ugly it would be, and um, Felt pretty good. It's the next day that gives you the problems. They <laughs> they want to practice at one. There's like practice on the schedule. I'm like, I won't be able to throw at five. But <laughs> practice at one. So, <laughs> so I looked at it and went, practice? We're having practice? <laughs> like at the stadium or in your practice? Alan Alan Iverson. We're talking about practice. That's Not what I'm game, saying. Right? We're talking about a game. Yeah, we're yeah, talking about practice. On, we, don't, we don't do practice. No. So... <laughs> yeah, it, it feels pretty good. I mean, it's not obviously what it was, but, you know, still accurate and still get it. Just got to take a shorter drop and get it out soon. Yeah, yeah. So. That sounds familiar to all quarterbacks these days, right? <laughs> That's, That's 2023. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so he's going to play like Tom Brady. He'll get out within 2.3 seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brandon was complaining, Doman, about, you know, we had all the young receivers and, oh, I'm like, Brandon, doesn't matter. If I can only throw at 30, it doesn't matter. You know? so <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens. The adrenaline will kick in a I little. I love it. There you go. Well, hey. I, I do think we have the oldest team, though, right? I think so. Yeah. I mean, because of us. Oh, because of us. Yeah. Most experienced is how we see it. <laughs> no, yes. we're old. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get real. We're, we're, we're old. <laughs> the old guys. Hey, thanks for hanging out with this gentleman. Yeah, yeah. Can't Anytime. wait to watch. Yeah, good to see you. It's great to have in. you back on campus. Hey, thank you very much. Yeah.